You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. I can't reach that brick. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. Where are you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. 
Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Let's head back inside. Okay. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. I don't remember them very well. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. Don't even come over here. Kenny? No, Cat. This son of a bitch would have let that man feed our son to the wolves. Stop that, Kenny. We were all frightened. Even I thought that maybe... Maybe we were going to lose our boy. I'm sorry, Katja. What if he... It's okay, Lee. From here on out, Lee, I need to know that you're on my side. Yeah, I am, of course. Good. Thank you. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in, and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there?
Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. A first aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. We gotta clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Put your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. 
Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. See if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah. I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. What's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. He didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And you should know, I didn't think he was in the right. You didn't say anything. And Duck could have been bitten. Sure. I guess. 
What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more... of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him now. Go have a look around outside? Not now. All right. Hey, Carly. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. 
I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. some attention. Be careful. Find a weapon. Let's keep looking around. around for weapons. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. Windows. 
done trying to punch out windows. He's not going anywhere. Over to the right. without attracting the others.
moment we head towards that car, he's going to unleash enough noise to totally screw us. Trying to shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? Your groaning attracts the others. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, well, making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out window. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, well, making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. before he alerts the others, okay? Carly, you don't have a silencer for your sidearm, huh? Those are illegal, Glenn. Just a thought. That one sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. Look, I'll just walk over there and blow him away and hope it's not too loud. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll try to find some way to muffle your shot. I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Find a way to kill that guy before he alerts the others, okay? Get out your gun. But the noise! Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. was sick. Spark plug. 
you should hold on to that. It could come in handy. over to the right. Tissue paper. <laughs> that could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Rad. 
Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend Glenn. i don't want that it's not christian please just leave me please go What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know, that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Do it! Fine. You're all fucking crazy. I've seen what hell is like and it's coming back as one of those things! Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. God bless you, all right? God bless you too. <laughs> 